My name is Chelsea La Liberty. I am 31 years old. I live in Saskatoon and I am currently in school to obtain my bachelor's degree in Indigenous social work. My life as a child was was everything that a child's life was like. You know, you were you were carefree, you did what you want, you had your hobbies. Unfortunately, we don't have um, the choice of the things that happened to us as a child. So I think those are definitely um, factors that caused my, my, my mental illness and my um, substance abuse disorders. In 2014, I was introduced to fentanyl. I got addicted to fentanyl in two weeks. From the time I started using it to the time my body created a dependency, it was only two weeks. I lost my first child because of my fentanyl use. I lost my baby at six weeks. I hated myself. I didn't love myself because that was who I became. How was I just so okay with just losing something so so meaningful. I prayed for a second chance. I gave my hands up and I said, I am powerless. I have no control over this and I am lost. And I am lost because of what I've gone through. And what I've gone through has deeply impacted me. My life was able to change when I got accepted into school. I got accepted into university at the First Nations University of Canada to start the bachelor's degree for Indigenous social work. And that gave me an opportunity to be like, hey, this is your ticket out. Here is a chance, you know? Here's a way that you can utilize your lived experience and channel it to be a guide for somebody else who is struggling. I don't want to be controlled by my trauma anymore. I want to transform my trauma and I want to emphasize my resiliency. And I feel that I emphasize my resiliency through sharing my story because I know that my story is just like so many other Indigenous women out there. I am highly stigmatized already just by the color of my skin. Just by the color of my skin, I am more likely than other women to be assaulted, to experience abuse. Just because it doesn't affect you doesn't mean that it isn't a problem. Just because it doesn't affect you, it doesn't mean that it's not going on. The Creator gave us two ears and a mouth. Two ears because we should be listening more than we should be speaking. Listen to them. Listen to your loved ones. If you know somebody who is hurting, listen to them. If I could say a message to the younger me, I would say, hold on. There are gonna be things that you go through that are gonna be difficult to overcome. There are gonna be challenges that you're faced with that you're gonna question if you're gonna be able to do it. But hold on. You will have a son who will show you that unconditional love that you've been searching your whole life for. The piece to the puzzle will come. Just hold on. I believe that if we all hold on to hope, that we can all heal. And sometimes all we need is a little bit of hope to start that healing process. I believe anybody can do it. I know people can do it because I have. So if I can do it, they can too. And I hope they do. Doesn't matter who we were in the past. Doesn't matter what we did in the past. We all deserve to heal. I just want you to know that there is hope. And there is hope.